Bill Green. I'm getting ready to cook some ribs. I'm going to show you how to do it the Bill Green style. I'm going to give you some tips on some of the stuff you need to look for when you go out to get ribs. Then what we can use, we can use the Bill Green rib rub. I got the rib rub, then I got a chicken rub. And man, once you rub and get that in before you put it on the grill, it's good if you could rub and marinate it overnight. But I'll show you how we gonna rub it on this piece of rib that we got here. But one thing I wanna talk about first, about the rib. You got to be sure to know what kind of rib you get because you don't wanna get a rib that look like this all meat. You want some fat line, cause the fat line will help you cook the, and keep the flavor and keep everything together. And when you put it on the grill, you got to be, you be able to cook it bone side down. You always want to cook it bone side down. You don't ever flip it up, not less it's finished and you're getting ready to put some sauce on it. You cook it like that until you melt in your mouth. And man, you're going to have something. But I'll show you how to do it. Watch me through this process today and i show you how to cook some Bill Green uh, ribs with Bill Green rub. But I'm going to show you how to cook something that melts in your mouth and something that your whole family enjoy. This is what the rub look like. You can make it yourself too now. I, I'll give you a little bit of tips on what we use, but just the way you got the rub it in. But uh, basically, to make this rub, if you want to make a little bit home, you got a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of pepper, a red pepper, cayenne pepper do, do real good in it, and black pepper. Black pepper do real good into it. But I recently, I start using a little bit of that, that using that turmeric. And man, this thing give a flavor. So I put some time, I use the turmeric instead using the ginger. Ginger is another one, ginger, your garlic. When you got the ginger and your garlic and pepper, you got your, you starting to got all your ingredients down. And all you need is the heat to be able to show you uh, how well it is and how it tastes. Some, some spices ain't gonna never speak your name until they get hot enough. When they get hot enough, then they start talking. Garlic start talking and acting and running and the, and, and the turmeric start smoothing everything out. Make you think, ooh, Lord, why got you now? If you don't wanna make your aunt rub, just go to gullagrub.com and you can order your rub, and man, it be right to you before you can blink an eye. Now, I'm getting ready right now to do my poetry rub. And, I, and right now, I got the leg quarters. I like doing leg quarters because the leg quarters, the moist, and it, it's got so much flavor to it, and it cooks better than any other part for me. Uh, I'm going to use my Bill Green poetry rub. The ingredients, one of your main ingredients in this poultry rub is your, is your garlic. You got your garlic, you got, you got your uh, uh, ginger, you got a little bit of cayenne. Anytime you grill a uh, chicken in these leg quarters, you always want to gr gr grill them skin side down because when you got a skin side down, it, 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 it allows us meat to cook all the way through. The meat will cook all the way through, and when you see the oil where it break and start dripping down to the skin, the meat don't cook all the way through. You always see uh, the skin, while you're cooking with the skin side down, the, the, the skin act like a bowl. The skin hold that juice and finish cooking inside, but you got to always remember, smoked chicken can always look pink a little bit inside all the way to the bone. Most people don't know how that look and most people take it for granted that say the chicken still uh, ain't cooked yet, but most time it's finished cooked. If you let them cook farther than that, then you ever had chicken taste like bread, to have a bread taste to it. Uh, it just ain't, don't, don't taste right. But if you can cook it this right, yeah, man, you got it. If you ever could take it like that. When you see this bone showing, about a half inch out, then you know it's done. If you try to cook it anymore, you cause it to be tough itself. You cut this rib in now, it just tastes, this is moist, and this is 10 days, it is all the way through. All but you right. always got to know from the bone.
getting ready. I'm gonna cut this and we'll glaze it. And you got to cut it in between the bones and you know you cut, cut. And one thing you look for, a native bone. You look for, you look for that kind of pinkish, but if that show you that this meat cook all the way through the bone. You don't see no red, they're all pinkish. And a lot of people make a mistake. And when they see something a little pink, especially when you come off the grill, the grill would really make stuff that would have that kind of color to it. Especially when you're smoking. Man, you talk for something good, you do it this way, smoking like this, man, you know you got it. That's what I call glazing. I put this back on the grill for about 10, 15 minutes. Man, you got something good. Ooh. You got something good. This way you make a person eat it hollow. They start smiling. Man. And when you're cooking the barbecue chicken, you already done cooked. And you can put them in the box and you wanna heat them up. The minute you put some heat to them, they call that, that, that seasoning and that sauce that die popping. And man, you got something you eating, something they there. What? You, where you get that chicken from? Man, it just come off the grill. Just come off the grill. See how that chicken. How that glaze starting to turn on that joke here? That's the way you want to move. Just walk a little bit further on. 